It has been almost two years in the making, and now the end of construction is finally in sight for an entertainment hub in downtown Albuquerque. One Central is now leasing apartments, and as News 13's Jeannie Nguyen found out, they will cost you a pretty penny. She is live near First and Central with a look at this new development. Jean Dean Moven is only three weeks away here at One Central and the operations manager tells me he's getting a lot of interest from people who want to live here even though rent is unusually high for downtown Albuquerque. It's a two bedroom, two bath. It's about 724 square feet. And this is what we majority of the units in the building are, are like this. One Central is the $40 million development originally introduced during former Mayor Richard Berry's administration. The idea was to have it be a space where people could live, work, and play. And you have great views of the Sandia Mountains and this huge outdoor entertaining space. After breaking ground more than a year ago, the apartment units are finally ready to rent. The operations manager for One Central says locals aren't the only ones looking into the space. We've seen people that are moving to Albuquerque, which is exciting because they'll be able to live downtown and we're growing downtown. But it's going to cost you to live here. The smallest unit is a studio apartment at 480 square feet. That unit costs $900 a month to rent. Add on about another 400 square feet and it'll cost you $1,400. So far, Albuquerque residents have mixed feelings on the rent. For that size and that cost to me, it's prohibitive. And it's certainly not friendly based on our poverty rate for New Mexico. If you're looking for somewhere that's going to be right in the heart of things, that might be worth it. But Stroud says you get more than just an apartment. In the building, we have a fitness center. We have a multi a uh, gaming room and a media room where people it has 10 different TVs in there. Stroud says the idea is to change the perception of downtown to get people to want to live in the area. Stuff that would attract people to come downtown and make it a, the entertainment hub for downtown. Albuquerque residents say it's worth a shot. If it'll revitalize downtown Albuquerque, I think it's great. The operations manager tells me they're still working to get the bowling alley and an APD substation in the building. The original plan to have a bridge connect one central and innovate ABQ, ABQ is still in the works. Dean, back to you. All right, Jeannie, thank you. Residents can move into their new apartment starting September 1st. The commercial properties are still under construction.